Hi there, I'm Angela. Welcome to another episode of Friday Sews, a very super casual one again on a Sunday. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Hi there, thanks everyone for stopping in to another very late edition of Friday Sews. And I promise to get back to more of a regular Friday Sews on Friday here very soon. It's primarily due to my physical therapy program that I'm on that I don't end up getting these done until Sundays, uh, but that'll come to an end soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, thanks again for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Thanks to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. What an, a wonderful opportunity she has given all of us in the sewing community to get together, hang out with each other, share how our week went, uh, what plans we have coming up. Yeah, it's such a fun thing. And no other housekeeping. I don't have any updates on my stash sew down 2023. Next Friday sews, I should be able to give you guys an update on that. Once I finish my vest here, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more about my vest here in a moment. Um, but that's about it for housekeeping. And as far as sewing, I have been working on my vest. This is part of my capsule wardrobe that I'm doing. It's a fall winter capsule wardrobe that should be, I should be done with it just in time for fall. And this piece is a McCall's vest 7600. It's a pretty old pattern. I'm doing view A. And I've shown you guys this before, so it's nothing new. Um, but I've made progress on it. I've kind of got a little bit of the shell assembled working on um, the front facing here. And having it like at least somewhat together enough to hang on a hanger is kind of letting me see that how it'll look with these trousers that are also part of my capsule. So if we can put them together, it gives me a really good idea that, that I think they're going to work out well together, which uh, was what I was hoping for, but now I can really kind of see it come together. So I'm shooting to have this vest finished by early this coming week so like tomorrow or tuesday and then i can do like a reveal video to show you guys how it went and at that time i'll have like both of these pieces are done will be done by then and i can put it together as an outfit with a another shirt underneath i won't have any of my capsule shirts done but i have something else i can wear under it for the time being just enough to get a feel for how it's coming along and sometimes like that encouragement kind of keeps us going so yeah, and then other than that, I have made updates to my sewing journal. So this is a project planner that I got from Amazon last year, and I did a review on it and promised you guys an update once I had put some, some data into it. So I actually do have uh, some updates to share with you guys. And put my glasses on so I can read. And so this is, this planner is kind of like a full-fledged project planner and I think it's intended to be used like at the start of a project when you're actually doing the planning portion and then it also has a section for follow-up when you're done with the project so it's not geared specifically towards sewing but that's what I'm using it for and there's space for 17 projects in here so the first one so let me back up I decided to go all the way back to December of 2019, because that's when I kind of got the bug to start garment sewing again. Used to do a ton of garment sewing, kind of fell out of it, went more into quilting, and did that for about oh, 10 or 15 years heavily. And I'm still, I'm not hanging up my quilting hat. I'm still going to get back to that. But right now, for the past couple of years, I've been all about garments. And this Mimi G pattern was kind of what prompted me to. Uh, start sewing garments again. Isn't that the cutest outfit? Just, uh, I love this one here. I just love that. It kind of um, it made me, I was just kind of browsing patterns probably online when I started uh, kind of longing to sew garments again. And this one just caught my eye. So the only piece that I've made from this, it does include both the pants and that little topper. But I have just made the pants and I did make 
the straight leg version. And this was, like I mentioned, back in December of 2019. It's when I started it. And so I've kind of noted, I'm going to show you guys the details in my planner here in just a second. Um, but I finished it. When did I finish it? Yeah, I finished it in December. It took me about a week to make these. Nowadays, this would take me a couple of weeks. I think I had a lot more time on my hands back then. And so what I did, so, so I decided to start my planner going all the way back to this project, which was my kind of re-entry back into garment sewing. So it's the first project in here. And this first page, it kind of gives you little sections to fill out. Uh, you can give your project a name. And for me, I'm just doing like Simplicity 8655. That's the project name. Um, I'm taking on this project because, and it gives you like, it's a prompt. So you can write a little blurb about why you're doing this project. Supplies needed, approximate cost of goods, steps for completion. This step should be done by where you enter a date that you want to complete that step. And then what could get in the way of my progress. So because I'm kind of backfilling this, I, I did make a note in my planner that I'm filling this in long after the fact. So I'm not filling in like which steps to take because it's already done. But I did put like my supplies there, my fabric, zipper, and thread. I bought everything from Mood Fabrics. This was actually uh, my first purchase from Mood Fabrics. So that was kind of fun too. And then you get two pages of graph type paper for sketching out your design. For me, what I'm going to use that for is I think what I'm going to do for the first sketch is make like a photocopy of the pattern cover. And if it's a PDF pattern, I can just print it right from, um, you know, the website of the pattern company and like paste it right in there. And then for the second sketch it out page, that is where I am going to put pictures of me wearing the garment along with some of the actual fabric. Sorry about the glare there. So I've got, I made it out of this like hot pink, uh, magenta, forget what this fabric was. I probably should put some details about the fabric and I think I probably will go back and enter that. But I just glued it down to the page. I couldn't decide like best way to get this to stick to the page. I thought about stapling, but then, you know, that could lead to page rips and tears and snags. So I just had some of uh, that Mod Podge glue. So I just glued it down. And then I just glued the pictures down. So we'll see how well that holds up. And then there's two pages for you to put important notes. And I kind of did the detailed notes I took when I made these projects. So thankfully I did take notes when I was making these, even though I didn't have like a sewing journal at the time. So I just noted that I made muslin first, some fitting adjustments that I made. Um, that I watched Mimi G's sew along video, which was helpful for some of the techniques in these pants, which were new to me. And I put the date I started and finished. And then on the other important notes page, it's almost like the, the amount of space that this planner gives me is almost more than I need because I don't need two pages for important notes, but I'm going to make use of it since I have it. So what I'm using for the second page of important notes is my overall impression of uh, the process of the pattern of how I liked the finished make did it turn out good so I kind of made notes um, about that and then there is a final page for each project that is called reflection right over, over here and the sections are general thoughts what did I do well? What I need to improve? Biggest lessons I'm grateful for. The hardest thing about this project was how can time, how can next time be better? So I kind of filled that in too. And it's funny to look back on. So what I noted for what I'm grateful for was my trusty, sweet little sewing machine. That was my old machine that I sewed with for 25 years. I still have her. She just needs a little bit of work, I think. But, um, but I did end up getting a new sewing machine 
a little over a year after I made these pants because I was having some problems with my little machine. And I did have it serviced and it ran good for a couple months, but then it started malfunctioning again. Couldn't bear to get rid of her. I love her so much. So she's tucked away in the closet. I am going to plan to have her serviced again. Hopefully uh, she could just be a backup machine for me. So that was those Mimi G pants. I love those pants, but I found out that the fabric that I chose, I just can't remember what it was made out of, but like almost like a taffeta sort of, very impractical. You're supposed to dry clean only, and that is not something that I'm going to do. Uh, so let me show you my next one that I filled in. So this was a butterick top. And once again, I filled out the first page with like material, cost of goods and things. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, photocopy the pattern cover and put it in here. And then I have still had some of this fabric left. It was this red knit turtleneckish kind of top. And yeah, it's fun to look back on this. And these are like glossy prints that I had uh, sent over to our local Walgreens drugstore or pharmacy. And you know, if, you, if you guys know what Walgreens is, it's kind of like CVS or Rite Aid or something like that. But they do have a photo printing uh, area. So I just sent these over to Walgreens to print out and picked them up and then made my notes in there. So yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of, I got a lot of work to do to backfill this in, but that's my plan. I'm pretty jazzed about it because it really does bring back, you know, memories when you look back through this and it's like, oh yeah, it was fun to make that or look, this was a terrible project or anything like that. So that's about all the sewing related things I have to update you guys with. And as far as life, it's, there's nothing really new. I'm still going to physical therapy three days a week. I'm going to yoga still two days a week. I'm, they offer the yoga class at my gym where I'm a member uh, four days of the week in the morning. So my goal is to do at least two. And if I can make three or four on some weeks, uh, I'll try for that. But right now I've kind of been doing it about two mornings a week. And the good news is that I have been able to tell some improvement in my knee. And I'm so glad about that. I have better range of motion and certain motions that were extremely painful before I started therapy. Now they're not so painful. So oh, it feels good. I felt like for a while the pain had been lingering for so many months that I thought this is just like how it's going to be for forever and ever. Amen. Kind of thing. But um, I think, but now I have hope. I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So I have a good therapist. He's really good. He, he knows his stuff. So yeah, this coming week will be my last week of PT. And I'm going to have to put together a plan that is realistic and that I know I will stick with to keep doing these exercises um, that he's taught me how to do. And what I'm kind of thinking is that if I can get to yoga three mornings a week, I can just stay around in the little classroom because they don't have a class right after that. And I can uh, bring my yoga stretch, or my physical therapy stretch bands and just hang out in that little classroom because, you know, it's a nice environment with that nice, like, uh, shiny, like, wooden floor that gyms kind of have. It's clean. I won't have um, a lot of distractions there, and I can just do my PT exercises right after yoga. So that's kind of my plan. I'll see if they if they mind if I do that there. If they're good with it, that's what I'm going to do. So I know it's my best chance of sticking with it. And that's about it. This might be a little short one. Uh, yeah, and work. That's the only other thing. Um, so I'm recording this on Sunday, February. Today the 5th? I think it's the 5th. And I'm going to be starting garden seeds today or tomorrow. So there's that. Work and garden. And that's about it. And so I do have a feature channel for you guys. Um, I'm glad to get back into doing feature channels. And this was a suggestion by you guys. One of you had suggested this woman's channel. So I took a look and I love her videos. Um, I'll put a link to her channel below. And her name is Karen Uter. 
Uh, it's spelled K-A-R-O-N, her last name, E-U-T-E-R. And she's fairly newish. Um, well, she started in October of 22, so that's pretty new. And when I watched her, some of her videos earlier in the week, I think she had around 16-ish videos posted, which is a good amount. And her sewing skills are like mad. She is such a good seamstress. And I watched in particular one of her videos titled How I Started Sewing. And I want to say she said she'd only been sewing for five years. And I, I couldn't even believe that. Uh, she's really good. And what she really loves to make is specialize in, at least from the videos that I've watched. I haven't watched all of her videos, but the few that I did, uh, she makes like nice button down collared shirts and blazers. And that's pretty ambitious for, I mean, I know five years is not like a new sewist, but it's not like she's been sewing for 20 years. I feel like her skills are out of this world, especially given like blazers are not the easiest thing in the world. And she really knocks it out of the park. She also has a, a nice presentation, uh, like uh, pre presentational skills, I guess you might say. Uh, sweet, very friendly. I love following along with her, listening to her. She's very calm, which I always love. So I would suggest you guys, if you're looking for a new channel, take a look at her channel. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And that is about it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I hope you'll tune back in a little bit later in the week, probably Tuesday or Wednesday, when I will have, hopefully have a reveal for my McCall's vest, my second piece of the capsule wardrobe and I'll be further along in my stash slow down too. So thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great week coming up and I will talk to you then. Bye.